Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Miss Dana. And today we're going to start to talk about the ocean and the animals that live in the ocean. Here's one of them now. Do you see who this is? This is my friend Flipper. He's an ocean animal. Do you know what ocean animal Flipper is? It's a dolphin. Good job. Now, Flipper and you are gonna help me at home. I'm gonna show you some cards of animals that live in the ocean. We're gonna go over and see if you know what animals they are. So our first one is just like Flipper. It's the dolphin. Dolphins live in the ocean. All right, our next one is a large animal that lives in the ocean. Do you know what it is? It's the whale. Good job. All right, our next one. Uh-oh, you do not want to get pinched by this ocean animal. It's the, the crab. Watch out for its pictures. All right, moving along, our next animal that lives in the ocean is actually a shape. Let's see if you know what it is. Do you know what shape this is? It's a star. This is called a starfish. They live on the bottom of the ocean. And maybe in our story, you'll see a starfish. All right, our next one. This fish is orange and white and a little bit of black. And he was in the movie Finding Nemo. Do you know what kind of fish this is? It's called a clownfish. Nemo was a clownfish. All right, my next one also has big pinchers. And lots of people like to eat this animal. It's a lobster. The lobsters live in the ocean. Moving on to our next card. Ooh, do you know what this is? This is called the squid. Squids live in the ocean. All right, I'm gonna show you my next card. This ocean animal has eight arms and legs. Do you know what it's called? The octopus. The octopus is an animal that lives in the ocean. All right, we have a few more. Uh-oh, this next ocean animal. Flipper's telling me, you do not want to get stung by this ocean animal. Do you know what ocean animal could sting you? Uh-oh, it's the jellyfish. You don't want to get touched by its tentacles. Because, ouch, that could hurt. All right, our next one is not, it actually doesn't look like an animal. This is called coral, and coral is actually a living plant that lives on the bottom of the ocean. I think we'll see some coral in our story. All right, our next one that lives in the ocean, they're very tiny. They're tiny creatures that bob around in the ocean. Do you know what this is called? It's a seahorse. Seahorses live in the ocean. All right, friends, I do have one more. Oh, Flipper knows this ocean animal. It's... Ah, it's the shark. Sharks live in the ocean. All right, boys and girls, that was a little review of some of the ocean animals that I have. So now we're going to move on to story time with Miss Dana. And today we are going to read Life in the Sea. Wow, look on my front cover. What do you see? Lots of fish. When fish swim together, they actually call it a school of fish. All right, so I'm going to put my story here and we're going to read along to Life in the Sea. Here we go. What kind of life can you find in the sea? Here, boys and girls, this is that coral. Colorful plants 
that are living on the bottom of the ocean. And I see lots of tiny fish. What color fish do you see swimming around the coral? They're orange. All right, let's keep reading and see what else is in the sea. Yeah, I'm gonna fold my page so you can see it better. We saw this on our card. Do you remember what animal this was? That's the seahorse. It's called a long snout seahorse, probably because its snout is pretty long. Let's read. Many kinds of small fish live near the top of the sea. And here, this is called a yellow tail snapper, probably because its tail is what color? Yellow. All right, let's see who's next. There's the four-eyed butterfly fish. I'll zoom in so you can see them. How many butterfly fish are there? Let's count. One, two, there are two fish there. Oh, do you remember what fish this is? It has a silly name. It's the clown fish. And what colors do you see on the clownfish? Let me point. Let's see. There's orange, white, and there's also black. What color is the coral right here? Pink. And what color over here? White. All right, let's keep reading and see what ocean animals come up next. Some swim in large groups called schools. There's a school of fish swimming by. There they go, all together. They're called the school. You can see them all here together. The large tuna swims near the top. This is an albacore tuna. It's a big fish. And the jellyfish float on the top of the ocean. This is called the moon jellyfish. It also looks like a shape. What shape are the jellyfish? Circles, good job. All right, keep moving along on to the next page. Flipper what? Oh, it's your friend. Who's on our next page? The flipper nose. Those are his dolphin friends, the bottle nose dolphin. Dolphins also swim the near the top of the ocean. Sometimes they even leap into the air. See, flipper likes to leap and do tricks in the air. All right, Flipper, we're gonna see who's coming up next. The blue whales dive deep into the sea, but they always come up to breathe. This is called their blowhole. And when the, the whale comes to the top of the ocean, it needs to breathe, so it goes <sighs> And it lets out a huge breath. That's how they breathe, but the whales can hold their breath for a long time. There he is in the ocean. And that's the blue whale. All right, we're gonna keep on going. Oh, I'm gonna hold this one up here so you can see, because that is the whale. Look how big its mouth is. It says open wide. Some kinds of whales also come to the top so that they can what? They can eat. Now, they eat huge amounts of tiny shrimp called krill. There's the krill, the shrimp that the whales eat. I bet they can eat a lot of krill with that big old mouth.
Let's back over here. Deeper in the ocean, there are what? Sharks. The dangerous great white and the strange looking hammerhead. So these sharks swim at the bottom of the ocean. There's the great white and there is the hammerhead. Look how silly and long his face is. That's why they call them the hammerhead, because it looks like a hammer. All right, moving on to that next one with the eight arms and legs. Oh, what ocean animal do you see next? The octopus. The octopus lurks among the rocks at the bottom of the sea. What colors is the octopus? The octopus looks white and a little bit of pink. Brightly colored sponges also live on the ocean floor. This is called the finger sponge. Kind of looks like fingers. The sponges can be bright and colorful. I see lots of colors, red, pink, yellow, red. What color is this sponge you see? It's a yellow sponge. They live on the bottom of the ocean. And what color sponge is here? Pink, good job. That's called the pink vase sponge. I also see a tiny yellow fish swimming by. <laughs> Lost the book. Many sea animals with hard shells live on the ocean floor too. This is called the giant, oh no, yeah, the giant clam and the queen scallop. So they look like shells, but they're actually alive. But people do not live in the ocean. They only come to visit. This is a scuba diver. Now the scuba diver is wearing special equipment so he could, or she can breathe and swim fast, wearing flippers on their feet, wearing a wetsuit to protect its skin, goggles so they can what underwater? So you could see. Also, they're using something in their mouth and have a tank of air on their back so they can breathe. That's how scuba divers can breathe underwater. And we find ways to learn about this sea. It's like the friends are at the beach and it looks like they found a starfish. Be careful when you find living things and to always put them back in the ocean where they belong. All right, boys and girls, that was our story today, Life in the Sea. I hope you guys enjoyed our little story about animals that live in the sea. Stay tuned for more ocean fun. Bye, boys and girls.